Hello, my beautiful Gemini. Welcome to your December 2022 monthly reading, or whenever you are so forth called to this reading. Know that that is when the message was intended to reach you, as all my messages are timeless. That being stated, it is a general reading, Gemini, so please take only what resonates for you. Leave behind what simply does not. Feel free to check your moon, rise, and Venus signs for you or the person that you have most on your mind to suss out more messages, more information. If you are unsure or unaware which other planetary placements are and would like to find out, there is a link in my description box to a prenatal calculator that can help you with that information. All right, my beautiful Geminis, this reading is going to be focused on love, romance, and relationships. So if you're looking for something a little bit more generalized, this may not be the reading for you, although those, those messages can also come through. This is just going to be mainly focused on love and romance at this time. All right, Gemini, let's take a look at you and your person, the person that you have most in your mind, the person you are hoping, wishing, desiring to connect with, have previously connected to, or in current connection, or will be connecting with in the near future. We're going to be doing the classic Celtic cross today. We get a really bird's eye view of what's happening here. All right, so in the heart of the matter, Gemini, you're showing up with the energy of the Queen of Pentacles. So this can be mean that you are an entrepreneur, you are your own boss, you're in charge, or you're in gambling boss energy at this time. This also talks about long-term stability and security. This is you standing pretty powerful, Gemini, in your own energy. What is crossing it? Mm is the five of pentacles so there's something that you are either fearing losing gemini or have lost some of you may feel abandoned at this time shut out being kept away from something that you truly uh, desire and the root of this yeah the ten of swords so there was an ending here for my beautiful gemini's that was very painful that has left you feeling abandoned and alone recently yeah page of swords um, you may be keeping an eye on this person, or this person may be keeping an eye on you, but this is the Page of Swords. So there's a, you know, Page of Swords also recent, it can, can indicate recently, Gemini, that you may have been trying to gather some information to come to some type of understanding about what or why this happened here, what you're wanting. Yeah, you're wanting to heal from this. You're wanting to figure out what you do next, what your next move is with the Four of Swords. So some of you are taking a moment, a pause, a break. Future energy coming in. I love it. The sun. The sun is coming in with this beautiful, radiant energy. This is, you know, spontaneity. This is happiness. This is good times. This is joy. So happiness is coming in. Some of you, this could be a Leo coming into your energy. Uh, but overall, this is really joy and happiness. This can indicate that the universe and the, uh, your divine, your ancestors, depending on what you believe in, is really strengthening and supporting you and coming in with their energy to surround you through this healing, through this movement. Current energy, okay. Look at you, Gemini, showing up in the Queen of Wands energy. I like that energy for you. So this tells me that you're very attractive, very uh, passionate, very mystical, very magical at this time. You know what messes with the Queen of Wands? The Queen of Wands has got this charisma to her and that's kind of the energy that you're embodying at this time there's something that you're very passionate about there's something that you're really wanting to go after and you're not going to let anything hold you back from capturing here so there's this also a very determined energy outside influences to you four of pentacles all right so either you or your person has been holding back and ho or holding on to things too tightly there's this energy of needing to release to let go, to free up, to allow the abundance and, the, and energies and love to move freely. So whether this is you, Gemini, or your person, but somebody is holding back out of fear here. There's a lot of fear-based energy there. Hopes and fears, yeah. The devil is showing up here. Your The fear, the, the hope is the lovers, because the opposite to the devil is the lovers. And the, the fear here is more toxic patterns, behaviors, defeat possible outcome. I love it. Ten of Pentacles. Building that life that you desire. That is the jackpot. That is, you know, that's going to look different for all of you, but this can be, you know, having your family, 
you know, husband, wife, or getting married, having children, owning your home, the cars, the cats, the kids. You know, it's it's the you know the happily ever after picture here, but it's being financially uh, capable of having the life that you want as well. This Ten of Pentacles is legitimately have built the life that you desire to have. Again, all of you, that's going to look a little different, but at the end of the day. That is your out possible outcome is building that life that you desire. Love it. Overall energy here. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune, Gemini, is turning in your favor. This is a period of good luck, of goodwill, of obstacles and challenges being moved out of the way so that you can make forward progression if you so desire. Yeah. The hidden energy is the Ten of Wands. It means to lay this burden down so that you can move forward. Lay down the burden of heartbreak and pain with that Three of Swords. Cut it off, know what you want, speak your truth, and go passionately after, look at that, go passionately after what you want, have an adventure, move forward, have victory. I love that. I love that message right there. Beautiful and perfect, and the things will balance out for you with this temperance card. But it's, it's moving past the crossroads. It's taking the lessons and moving forward, choosing a new path that's going to lead to that foundation, that stability that we see with that that Ten of Pentacles. You have the power now to, with the Empress to create what you desire. But you have to walk away from the emotional overwhelm and confusion of the past and bring balance back to yourself. Put it to bed. Get out of your head. Embrace yourself and your love in order to be able to, and self-love and self-confidence, in order to be able to capture what you truly desire. And things will balance out with the Justice card in the end. Wow, guys, that was very, very blunt and straight to the point. I love it. So let's go ahead and now pull some romance angels and take a look at what is further showing up for my Gemini. When it comes to love, romance, and relationships. So Gemini and love, please. Take a look at Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for December 2022 or whenever they are so forth called to this reading. What does Gemini need to know for the highest vibration and highest good when it comes to love, romance? In relationships the person that they have most on their mind the person they are hoping wishing desiring to connect with will have previously connected to or will be connecting with in the near future what does Gemini most need to know for their highest vibration and highest good please Gemini when it comes to love what does Gemini need to know thank you messages for you all right so we've got getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens so what this tells me uh, Gemini is when I get this card if you are in a relationship with someone already established this can speak to really needing to take a time out a rest from distractions and really open up and and, and have some deep, meaningful conversations. Because as you do, as you express yourself, as you go and dig a little deeper for you and your person, you will solidify the bond and strengthen it between you. If you are just meeting someone, this can legitimately speak to getting, taking the time to really get to know this person. Don't rush, don't rush things, really take your time. If you are single, this could indicate that you've got somebody coming in that you're going to spend some time with over the coming weeks, really getting to know. All right, so very soon, clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. So this is being clear with your intentions. Release your, release what your attachment to the outcome. But be clear in what you are, are wanting to bring in for yourself, especially for those of you that are single and trying to attract in a new person. For those of you that are in connections or previous connections, make sure you're very clear about where you want your relationship to go. 
what energy you want to them and you to bring to the table. All right, so they have healing family issues, your love life benefit as you forgive your parents. So this can be healing, you know, healing in a, a marriage, a long-term commitment between you and your person, your partner. Some of you, this is looking at your shadow selves, your sides, and releasing those, those wounds and healing uh, what needs to be addressed there. All right, so we have unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So it's, yeah, this is about letting this, this, this situation here go. It's come to an end and you're feeling the loss very deeply, Gemini, but it's time. There was not enough energy there to really be a benefit to you. And then we have keep an open mind, your soulmate may different from your usual type and expectation, which is why I was guided to let you know to let go of your attachment to the outcome. Be clear about what you want, set your intentions, but release the outcome so that the universe can bring you the person that is going to align the most with you. It may not be, you know, if you've got a, a little checklist, you know, I want this characteristic, I want this person to have this kind of job, I want them to make this kind of money, I want this person to have dimples. I want this person to, you know, be built, uh, body build or, uh, you know, whatever your, the physical or emotional attributes, you have that checklist, release that, but be clear about what you want in a partner as far as emotionally supportive, um, as far as not so much down to the details. They have to have blue or green eyes. Like, that, that's what I'm talking about. Release that attachment. Release those pictures. Allow the universe to bring you the person that is going to align with your energy and be the most rewarding partner for you. All right, Gemini, let's go ahead and take a look at the zodiac signs that are showing up most dominant to least dominant in your energy at this time. So how this kind of works is I have the first six signs that come through are the most dominant. They are the most closest to the outcome because we're all, Gemini ill and different, are on different paths. So we're all at different places. Some of you are closer to um, the outcomes, where for others of you still have some work to do, some road to travel yet. So the first six of those of you that are connecting with someone, so the next one's showing up here, that is close to this outcome. The last six is, it's on its way. It's in progress, but it's least dominant at this time. So let's take a look at the first six, please. Who is showing up most dominant in Gemini's energy? So first out, we have Pisces. Taurus. A Leo. Virgo, Gemini, so those of you connecting with a fellow Gemini, and Cancer energy. The least dominant signs are Scorpio, Capricorn, Aries, Aquarius, Libra, and Sagittarius. All right, let's go ahead and get your wisdom of the oracle message as your advice and guidance. All right, spirit guides, angels, and angels of the light, let's go ahead and take a look at my beautiful, wonderful Gemini's for December 2022 or whatever they are so forth called to be doing. What does Gemini need to know for their highest vibration and highest good when it comes to love, romance, and relationships? What is your relationship message, advice, and guidance, please? For my beautiful Gemini's, what is your relationship guidance? All right, so we have card number 47. 
Let's go the distance. You either are in or calling in a harmonious relationship that can stand the test of time for better or worse as you ride the ups and downs and even strain. Break yourself and are remade in new growth. You are being redeemed by the power of regeneration. Harmony does not mean that there will never be a wrong note played or that the relationship is marked by endurance and dedication to overall unity. A new song can be written and an instrument can be tuned and the symphony of love will play on. Listen with your heart. Isn't it magnificent? So my beautiful Gemini, you have a love coming in that can stand the test of time, that can legitimately go the distance. That is such a beautiful, welcoming and wondering, wonderful and wondrous message for you. And definitely a strong note to end 2022 on. Much love to each and every one of you. Thank you for tuning in. If you have not yet done so, please hit that like button. Get this message out to all the Geminis that need to hear it. Subscribe. We would love to have you part of the Soul Cesarean Soul family. And last but not least, leave a comment. Let me know if this resonated or simply to just say hello. Much love and wishes for a peaceful holiday season. Namaste. Bye for now.